Hey guys, what's going on? This is Alex over here at My Freedom Smokes, and today we're gonna to be talking about the brand new Aspire Evo 75. Now, I do have to say that uh, I was a Kanger fan for the longest time. Uh, the Top Box Mini was my absolute favorite mod for the longest time when it came to an, basically an all-in-one um, sub-ohm starter kit that's good for both veteran users and newbies. This one has now knocked it off its keister, and I'll tell you why. Number one, you've got a fantastic tank with an amazing coil in here. I'm running it at 40 watts. I've been running it all day, and you get amazing, thick, flavorful clouds of vapor. The box itself is really nice. Uh, they almost kind of took an apple kind of design from this. Uh, very sharp, but rounded on the edges. That way it's not very sharp. Um, and you have your wattage and temp control as separate buttons on top, and we'll get into that in a minute. The way you put it in your battery is actually really nice and it seems to kind of fix some of the issues people have been having with like the K-Box. Uh, we all know that that just has a magnetic backing. Uh, if you wind up smacking it on the side of the table, the back of that can go flying off and your battery is going with it. With this though, it's self-contained in this own little section right here, like so. So all you gotta do is get your battery, insert it in like that, and make sure you follow the key on this side, negative up, positive down, negative, positive, and just slide it right back into place, like so. It's hard to do when I happen to hold it right out in front of me like this. Boom, just like that. And it's ready to go again. The tank is top fill, most like a lot of other uh, tanks coming out nowadays, which I'm really happy about. The top fill makes everything so much easier. So the way you get to that is you just unscrew the top here. Like so. Fill up the liquid against the side. Pop the top right back on and screw her back on down. Now, of course, same thing with any other tank and any other coil. Uh, since it's going to be a new one, let it wait about 5-10 minutes before you try using it. Otherwise, you're going to get a really bad burnt taste. Liquid's going to turn dark and you're not going to like it. You're going to say it's defective, but it's not. You just needed to wait on the coil. So, that's just a quick overview of it. So, we're going to go into a little bit more detail. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the coil in here is running at 40 watts and I believe it even says that you can go a little higher than that. It says recommend between 40 to 50 watts and it's a 0.4 ohm coil. Uh, usually I stick with the 0.5s. I don't notice a big difference with this 0.4 other than the fact you get amazing flavor out of this. That was the one thing I really liked about Kangers is you know not only did you get really good vapor production but the flavor was good too. In my opinion Aspire just never really hit that mark. Uh, with these current coils though it's really nice. Like I said, nice, good, thick clouds and amazing flavor. Now, the tank that's in here is the NX75. Uh, that's what they're calling this tank. And inside, you do get your user manual along with a warranty card. Uh, you get your micro USB cord, uh, which does plug in right over here on the side for your charging, like so. You also get an additional replacement glass because we all know you're going to break it. I break glass too. Don't act like you're special. And it also comes with one more additional Atlantis Evo coil. Uh, this one is a 0.5 though. Uh, so I'll probably be trying this one in the next few days to see how that works. But the 0.4 that comes preloaded works really, really well. Going into the uh, faceplate a little bit closer, uh, as you notice, as I said earlier, there's a button for wattage and a button for temperature. The cool thing about that is when you turn on the device, you can press wattage and switch between your voltages, wattages, and your different uh, save settings. When you hit the T, it's going to ask if it's a new atomizer. I'm not going to go into the full details, uh, that way it doesn't confuse this. Uh, but essentially, once you do that, it's going to ask if it's a new coil. And then you just keep cycling through those settings for either your nickel, titanium, or nichrome coils. And for that, uh, after that, you just adjust your temperature and everything else, and you're good to go. This has to be probably one of the easiest to use temperature control mods I've seen for the simple fact that you just press this little side button that says T and it's going to take you right to it. 
So all in all, this is a really great mod. I highly recommend it. Uh, you're, the more you play with it, the more you're gonna find little things about it that you like. It has, of course, memory settings for certain tanks uh, and the works. Uh, I really can't recommend this was enough. Uh, for both someone starting out new and a veteran vapor, I'd give this a four out of five. Uh, definitely doesn't earn the perfect five, uh, simply because this is not going to replace my current setup. Uh, but you know what? This is my backup now. Uh, my sub box used to be my backup. This is now my backup. So again, it's the new Aspire. Make sure I'm calling it right. The Evo 75 kit and highly recommended check it out at myfreedomsmokes.com and while you're there also make sure to check out our facebook twitter and instagram pages we love chatting with our customers so make sure to follow along and uh, have some fun with us and until next time thank you for vaping Boom.